These are your two candidates for District 2. The incumbent is Tammy Morales. She calls herself the last progressive left on council and was a community organizer focused on affordable housing and food access before being elected in 2019. Her challenger is Tanya Wu. Wu is a community activist who runs a community watch group in the Chinatown International District and helps run a hotel that has workforce housing. City data shows Southeast Seattle is one of the most diverse and lowest income areas. It's a place important to both District 2's council member Tammy Morales and challenger community activist Tanya Wu. I have been working uh, and organizing alongside community members in South Seattle in District 2 for over 20 years. I have seen the changes in the city. I've seen what happens in neighborhoods that don't have a voice and are forced to live with bad policy, and I'm ready to change that. Wu says her top priorities are homelessness, affordable housing, and public safety. We always talk about policing alternatives. I actually went and started the Community Watch Group, which goes out to the community. We make build trust amongst our our small businesses, our residents, and also our unhoused neighbors. Morales says her top priority is increasing affordability in the city so the businesses and families are not displaced. I want to work on increasing affordability in the city and to make sure that we're really building healthy neighborhoods where our young people, our elders can navigate safely in the community. District 2 has seen high profile crimes the past six months with two mass shootings, one at a hookah lounge, the other at a community event outside a Safeway and a string of violent home robberies. When asked how to reduce crime with these incidents in mind, this is how both candidates responded. I think we need to combat this from a, a nuanced approach. Um, which includes hiring more officers, changing the attitude and tone of the city going forward. I know that there needs to be reform in the police department. There needs to be accountability. The challenges across the city and, um, you know, I think a lot of the work that we're doing in my office is around gun violence prevention. It's around um, investing with the community organizations that work with people who are at risk for gun violence. Morales was recently one of three council members to reject legislation that would have allowed the city attorney's office to prosecute public drug use. Why did you vote against that? There are things we need to be doing to increase access to uh, to substance use treatment, more street outreach workers, more facilities for folks. But putting people in jail isn't going to solve these problems for them. Wu says she would have voted in favor of the September ordinance, but says treatment should be the focus. Criminalization and especially jailing people should not be the first thing. It should always be treatment. Both candidates are in favor of building more tiny homes and establishing RV lots to combat homelessness. As of yesterday, Wu has raised around $187,000 for her campaign, while Morales has raised around $164,000. Back to you. And right now on kink5.com, we've created a guide to all of the key races across Western Washington. Text the word election to 206-448-4545. We will send you a link.